What's up, comic book fans? This is Mark, and this is another Comic Race review for the third week of August of 2010. Like I said before, my name's Mark, and I got seven books to talk about this week, so I gotta go through these fast. Crossed, issue three. I thought it was issue one. I bought this because it was an indie book, and I, the cover was interesting. It had a lot of gore on it. I wanted a horror fix, and this delivered. Not only did it deliver that, it delivered some fucked up images. Whoa. It takes a lot for me to be, like, you know, shocked that they did something. Or disturbed. I've seen some fucked up shit in my day. They, they went there. If you're mature enough, age-wise and mentally-wise, I would say pick this up. Because there is nudity, gore, <laughs> gore, gore, sex scenes, profanity, a whole bunch of things that little boys shouldn't read, or little girls. Man, it's really graphic. 7 out of 10. <laughs> Sin City, issue 1, for a dollar. Uh, Dark Horse um, is doing a promotion. Dollar issues for a dollar. Not dollar issues for a dollar. Number one's for one dollar. Um, this is the first issue of The Hard Goodbye, which is my favorite Sin City book. I have it in trade, so you're probably asking yourself, why did you buy it? To show you guys that this is out there. And if you want to give yourself a little treat, or you want to give yourself, like, maybe you should buy the trade or not, like a little preview, I would say pick this up. Um, very, very nice. I like it. I love it. I like the hard goodbye. And, and if you don't know what the hard goodbye is, it's the one with Marv. And, you know, he's trying to get the killer that, um, that killed Goldie. It's from the movie. It's probably one of the first stories. Yeah. I, I love this story and I love this comic. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Um, probably wouldn't be the comic of the week because it came out a long ass time ago. And they're just doing a reprint, but still, I enjoyed it. The New Avengers, number three. I'll keep this one really short. It feels like they're distracting me with, oh, look how cool this moment is, and look how cool this moment is with the cool dialogue and cool visuals. But they're distracting me that there's no story. The story is, is like moving like a snail, and I really want something to happen, and everything that does happen kind of feels like they're just talking about it. 6.5 out of 10. This is uh, Green Lantern Corps number 51. And, uh, the beginning was very strong with the Cyborg Superman part and Kenneth it. But the dialogue in here, same thing that was wrong with New Avengers. It just, it dragged the story and it went to certain places where I didn't care. Um, it was very boring. Uh, you could still tell that this is a new writing team, and, uh, you know, I still think Edward Warrior does a better job, which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's a new book, and this one is on 51, you know. But, uh, yeah, nothing really happens in this. 7 out of 10. Brightest Day, number 8. I like the formatting that they did in this book. Um... Instead of seven small snippets of a story, we get three larger quantities. And it improves the quality of the story. They're not just giving you like a clip and saying, to be continued. They're actually uh, filling it out. Uh, Martian Manhunter has a part in here. Dead Man has a part in here. And Hawkman Hawkgirl have a part in here. Very, very good. Like it. it wasn't as good as the last one, but I'm not a Hawkman Hawkgirl fan, that's just me. I have to give this a 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Next up is Marvel Universe vs. The Punisher, number 2 of 4. I love this story. I said it in the previous review of this. Everything that was good of that one has this one too. Less epic feel to the story, but I do like how they're setting up the villain um, to be so evil. Seriously, I mean, I'm not going to spoil who it, who it is, what superhero is. 
it seems like the main villain of the story, but um, man, it's fucked up. But I do like it. I, it's not fucked up like Crossed was. Uh, it was a good messed up. I didn't see it coming. But uh, man, they really know how to make this guy creepy in this universe. Uh, I have to give this a 9 out of 10. Now for the comic of the week. And yeah, you guys are probably going to bitch and moan about this one. But don't bitch unless you buy it. I'm just saying. Because uh, this shocked me too. After all these comics, all there, I had some great comics this week. This one was the best one. Deadpool number 26. And the reason why is this. You know how Deadpool has been basically written like a retard. Nothing has happened and nothing epic. There was no backing to this character. It was just, hey, let's put him in a story that had to be funny and had action. But there's no character development at all. None. Just, he wants to be a superhero, and that's it. This one, we finally get backstory. And what do you mean backstory? You gotta read it. Uh, he has interaction with Ghost Rider in here, which was done really well. And basically, throughout half the story, we got the same old shit. Him talking to a second voice, him acting all goofy, giving yourself some action, you know, in the middle. And then when he gets this stare from uh, Ghost Rider, the book completely changes. And when that change happens, you don't see it coming. And after that, this book has been in my head ever since Wednesday. And I'm taping this on Friday. This was the best book. And throughout all of them, this one feels like... This one will have an impact on the character themselves for the longest time. Because maybe Marvel will take them more serious. Or at least Deadpool more serious. And we're not going to get the shit that we've been getting over and over. Just saying. And it's kind of funny because it's coming from Daniel Way. Yeah, I'm just making sure he wrote it. Uh, i got to give this a 9.5 out of 10. Probably the highest rated comic of Deadpool that I'll ever have too. Unless they keep writing him like this. Hopefully they do. So, that's it guys. Check me out on comicchrisreviews.webs.com. You can see my written reviews, plus a whole bunch of other things from other people, like Blue Goblin, Boxing Type Bucks, and Brendan X, and much, much more. And until next week, keep reading those comics.